Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Hill Yourself. And today we're gonna touch on what it means to heal, what it means to be human in this human body and how we heal. So let's just take a look, a little look. So if you have chronic illness, maybe you have chronic pain, you have a lot of symptoms, you have migraines, maybe you have chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia or Lyme or chemical sensitivities or mold issues or cancer or neurodegenerative disease, whatever it is, okay? Just take a moment. You're human. You're here. So I want you to remember, for those of you who are parents, maybe some of you are, maybe some of you aren't, but when a little baby comes into the world, this soul that chooses to be here on planet Earth lives inside a woman. You all lived inside your mothers. You were born and birthed inside your mother's womb. Just take that in for a minute, right? Here we are, these little souls that want to know what it's like to be human, that want to know what it's like to be born into the world. And we live in darkness. We live in safety and darkness inside our mother's stomachs. And we push through a very traumatic, dark, painful birth canal. We squish ourselves down and come out into the light. We cry, we gasp that first breath. We take everything in. We know nothing except that we're here, except that we're human, except that we wanted to be here. We wanted to feel what it was like to be born, to be born into planet Earth, to be born onto planet Earth, to Feel what it's like to live. We all chose this journey. We all wanted to be here. For whatever reason our souls needed to come, we're here. And so when we die on the other side, when we come to the moment of death, we feel that our journey is over. We've learned what we need to learn. We've said what we need to say. We've experienced what we need to experience. We've done what we need to do and we've connected in ways that we needed to connect and share and inspire and leave behind something of ourselves, whether it's in the earth or with another human being or with a message or a story, we leave something of ourselves behind when we go. We've all, I'm sure, known someone who's died. And they leave behind pieces of themselves inside us, right? We, we remember things about them or stories, memories, experiences, maybe attributes or way of life or philosophy. Maybe they leave behind something magical, any kind of magic. They give it back to the earth. They give it back to a person, a being, whatever. Their soul was here. They leave a piece of themselves somehow, somewhere on this earth. And so it's amazing to me that we want to be here so badly. And when we leave, we want to leave a piece of ourselves behind. And so while we're here in the middle of it, we may be plagued with a chronic illness. We may have pain. We may have symptoms. We may be thinking, why me? I didn't come here to experience this. This isn't my path. You know, this isn't who I truly am. This isn't why I came. And if I have to live like this, with this amount of suffering, then I don't want to be here, right? We feel ourselves pulled towards our last breaths, 
saying this isn't the experience I wanted. I don't want to be here if I have to experience this because this isn't what I came for. We all instinctually know that this is not what we came for. This suffering, this pain, this illness, this is not what you came for. So either you've already done what you came for or you need to grow through this experience so that you can experience what you came here for, what you came here to do, what you came here to learn, the message you came here to spread, right? We all have something within us that we want to share with the world and experience something that we want to feel. Maybe it's just love. Maybe it's a child. Maybe it's a message. Maybe it's an inspiration. Maybe it's just to be, to breathe. Maybe it's just to feel the wind, the water, the soles of our feet on planet Earth. Whatever it is, we're here for a reason. We chose to be here and we chose to feel it for a reason. So what happens when we have this chronic illness? Well, first, we're choosing not to live anymore. Part of us has already shut down. It might be an emotional part, a mental part, the hope part of you, the part that doesn't want to get your hope up and get it crushed again. Maybe a physical part of you, a spiritual part of you. Something is closing down, closing off, dying. And what we know about that little baby, if you've ever held a newborn in your arms, is that that child is innocent, amazing, pure, and it wants to be here. It wants to breathe. It came through amazing odds to come through that birth canal to take its first first breath to feel what it feels like to be human and you want to feel that way too right you may not feel human right now when you have a chronic illness and you're longing you're dying you're going through another birth canal another growth experience so that you can come out the other side and say this is what it feels like to be human again to be rebirthed to heal to be free of illness and full of life, full of vibrancy, full of energy, full of hope, full of health, full of love, full of joy, full of happiness, right? Right now as you're sitting in illness, not only have you closed off part of your heart, part of your soul, your connection to joy and love and presence and deep trust in the universe, trust in those around you, connection with others, community, the way that you can give yourself and be free, and give and take and breathe and dance and laugh and sing and love, cry, cry with the beauty of what it means to be human, of how it feels to be alive and full of vibrancy, hope, passion, presence, just the I'm here-ness and I'm here and I'm happy to be here. And that's what we're all trying to get back to, isn't it? When we're chronically ill, we're trying to get back to those moments, to that moment when we arrived here on planet earth and said, I'm here. I am here in all my glory and I scream out and I cry and I gasp for breath and I snuggle onto the chest of my mom and I just feel the presence of that heartbeat and just knowing that I'm here alive on planet earth and I'm meant to be here. <sighs> and I think a lot of us are disconnected from our true selves, from that moment, from from the being inside us who wants to be here, who longs to be alive and breathe and just feel and be loved and feel safe and connected the way we do as newborns. Mm -hmm. And we can feel that. 
but we have to long to feel that. We have to be inspired the way that newborn was to come to planet Earth. We also have to have a longing to be reborn, to get our life back, to live again, to love again, to feel again, to trust again. Right? All these things that we do as, as babies, as newborns. When we close down, when we close off, when we allow ourselves to disconnect, to hide, to isolate, to close off, to shut down, to distrust, to hide, to fear, when we stay in these states, when we allow ourselves to be in these states, we keep ourselves sick. We keep ourselves from being who we are. And when we keep ourselves from being who we truly are on this world, our soul is partly dead. And we need to reinvigorate it. We need to become alive. So how do we do that? It's not just through your physical health and healing. It's not just about eating the right diet and getting the right amount of sleep and drinking the right amount of water and doing all the things, though this is part of it. To, to rebirth your health, your physical health, you first need to rebirth your spirit, your soul, right? So nobody's going to come alive without that spirit. When those newborn babies come out in the world, their spirit emerges first. Those little bodies are miracles. Their heart isn't flooded with, with emotions yet. It just feels, it knows. It's the soul coming through saying, I'm here. It's not closed down. It's the closest to open that it will ever be. And we need to birth ourselves again. We need to learn to trust, to open ourselves to trust even when we can get hurt, even when something's not trustworthy, to open ourselves to hope, even if those hopes can get crushed, to open ourselves to love, even if the love's not returned, to open ourselves to joy, even if it comes with pain, to open ourselves to freedom, right? Even if it comes that it can be taken away to, or, you know, or, or oppressed. We need to open our hearts to feel, even when that feeling, even when feeling can hurt us or can make us scared or sad or we can lose something deeply that we love. But we need to open, opening. The opening is the key to healing. Because when your soul is back open, when you just say no, no to these patterns, these subconscious patterns, these conscious patterns, this way of living, this closed down way of being, the mistrust that you have in the world around you and everybody in it, the resentment, the anger, the fear. When we live behind these emotions and we don't get out in front of them and we say, I'm going to open anyway. I'm going to hope anyway. I'm going to feel fill myself with joy anyway. I'm going to laugh, dance and sing anyway. I'm going to live because I'm here. And until either I go or the planet goes, it's my job to live. It's my job to feel it. It's my job to express the fullest version of life that I can. And until we give ourselves the responsibility that this is our job here on earth, that we need to take full responsibility for being alive, being alive with all the ups and downs, being alive and means being open. It means opening everything, your soul, your heart, 
your mind. It means saying no to the things that fill us with, with fear or hate or resentment or shame or guilt or anger, <sighs> judgment, criticism. It means saying no to those patterns. It means retraining our entire mind, reprogramming our mind anew, saying the only thing, the only sacred thing now that comes out of my mouth is hope, love, joy. You know, it might not be perfect. My body might not be healed, but my spirit will be. I will allow myself to open in spite of the fact that my nervous system wants to protect it, of the fact that I don't feel safe, of the fact that I don't feel heard, of the fact that I'm suffering, of the fact that it hurts, of the fact that it's hard. I will do it anyway. And when we open, when we continue to open and open and open and say it's my job to live anyway, I'm going to live to my fullest expression, whatever that is today, to feel whatever it is to my fullest expression today, to see, to touch, to experience life, the beauty, the pain, all of it, without closing off to any of it. And when we can do that, when we can stop closing down and instead opening up, in spite of everything, we step into healing. And when we really truly get there when we're open to healing that's when healing can come healing never can come to those who are closed down opportunities can never come to those who aren't open to them right the secret that secret the law of attraction can never come to those who are closed down shut off miracles can never come to those who are sick, sick in spirit to those who aren't open to miracles. So I want you to open yourself up today to a miracle and await the miracle by staying open because the miracle can never come. The miracle of health and healing and everything that you're waiting for cannot come down, cannot come to a closed mind, a closed heart, a closed soul, a closed body something that's closed down, shut off, isolated. It's only when we open to the possibilities, to that there's more, to room for miracles, to room for growth, to room for more new opportunities, to room to move and to love again and to be free and to experience health in our body. That only comes when we open ourselves up to it. So I know it's hard. I know it hurts. I know... We can get filled with fear and our hopes can get dashed and crushed and we can be rejected and judged. And I know all these things, but you have to be willing to do it anyway. You open in spite. You feel in spite. You live and experience what your soul wanted you to come here to live and experience in spite of all of the things that tell your logical mind to close off. And so that's my message to you today. It's to open, to open freely and willingly and to keep and continue to stay open, to be open to the possibility, to the miracle and to healing. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And I look forward to the next time we come and chat and I will see you in the next video.